Spectrophotometer A spectrophotometer is often used to measure the absorbance of a solution at a particular wavelength and calculate the concentration of a substance in the solution. 1. The types of spectrophotometer There are different types of spectrophotometers based on their light source. The commonly available types include the visible spectrophotometers equipped with a halogen lamp. 340 to 800 nanometer. The ultraviolet spectrophotometer equipped with a hydrogen or deuterium arc lamp, 200 to 340 nanometer. The full spectrum spectrophotometer equipped with a xenon arc lamp, 190 to 1100 nanometer. And the luminescence or fluorescence spectrophotometer capable of detecting luminescence or fluorescence. Moreover, the recent years have witnessed the development of the microplate spectrophotometer that can measure multiple samples simultaneously and the cantilever pedestal type or submicroliter cuvette type nanospectrophotometer that can measure sample volume as little as submicroliter. 2. The choice of cuvettes or microplates. Depending on the kind and volume of the sample to be measured by a spectrophotometer, different types of cuvettes or microplates made of different materials and with different appearances should be used. Glass or plastic materials absorb ultraviolet light, thus can only be used at the visible light range. Quas or acrylic materials, on the other hand, are suitable for full spectral measurement. The appearance of a cuvette may be standard or Y-shaped. The submicroliter cuvette for the nanospectrophotometer features a patented internal design and requires a proper lid based on the kind and concentration of the samples. The microplates have different formats of 6-well, 24-well, 64-well, 96-well, or 384-well, along with options of transparent, white, black, or gray wall and bottom. The cuvette or microplate must be free of bubbles, fog, or scratches during measurement. Before and after use, please be sure to clean the cuvette thoroughly, rinse the inside with distilled water a few times, and wipe the clear light passing sides carefully with a Kim wipes. Leave the cuvette upside down on a paper towel to dry before next use. 3. Operating a spectrophotometer A. Now we demonstrate how to operate a full-spectrum submicroliter cuvette type nanospectrophotometer. 1. Remove the dust cover and make sure the cuvette holder is empty. 2. Turn on the undisruptible power supply UPS, and switch on the spectrophotometer. The machine starts the self-test procedure automatically. 3. If the self-test completes successfully, the LCD panel displays the main menu. Put the cuvette into the holder. Note, the light source shines from right to left. The clear side of the cuvette must be perpendicular to the incoming light. Please refer to the manufacturer's instruction for the proper orientation of the horizontal metal bar on the cuvette. The printed brand name must face the user. 4. Choose a proper lid based on the kind of sample. Use a lid of 1 mm path length for double-stranded DNA and use a lid of 0.2 mm path length for RNA or protein. 5. Determine the sample volume to fit the size of cuvette. We use 2 microliter here as an example. 6. Pipette 2 microliter distilled water or blank solution into the sample well at the top of the cuvette. Avoid any bubbles. Note, rest the pipetting hand on the bench top and support with the other hand to prevent sample overflow due to an unsteady hand. 7. Put the lid on. Make sure the notch of the lid perfectly sits on the metal bar to form a closed space. 8. Set up the parameters. Navigate the main menu using the number keys to enter the parameter setup interface for the sample type to be measured. For double-stranded DNA, pressing number 1 three times brings up the setup interface. Use the arrow keys to choose parameter or move the cursor to make changes. Different lid corresponds to different lid factor, which is labeled on each lid. The table lists the parameter values for double-stranded DNA and RNA. 
and the nucleic acid concentration is calculated from the measured absorbance. Nucleic acid concentration, microgram per milliliter, is the product of absorbance at 260 nanometer and lid factor and factor. Since the sample isn't diluted, the dilution factor remains as 1.000. If the sample has been diluted, you should change the factor so the spectrophotometer can convert the result into the original concentration for you. The submicroliter cuvette has a short path length, and the absorbance is relatively low. Consequently, background absorbance can easily cause an error. We recommend removing the background value. 9. After finishing the parameter setup, press OK to enter the measurement interface. 10. Press blank or reference to zero the machine. 11. Remove the lid. Wipe away the distilled water or blank solution from the lid and the sample well of the cuvette with a Kim wipes tissue. 12. Mix the sample solution by vortexing. Pipette two microliter sample into the sample well of the cuvette. Avoid any bubbles. 13. Put the lid on. Make sure the notch of the lid perfectly sits on the metal bar to form a closed space. 14. Press OK to start measuring and wait for the value to stabilize. 15. Use a cell phone to take pictures as a record. 16. Remove the lid. Wipe clean the lid and the sample well of the cuvette with a Kim wipes tissue. 17. Continue to measure the next sample. 18. After the experiment, add 2 microliter distilled water to the lid and the sample well of the cuvette, respectively. Wipe clean with a Kim wipes tissue. 19. Return the lid and cuvette into the box and store in a humidity control cabinet. 20. Exit the spectrophotometer control panel to the main menu and turn off the machine. Put on the dust cover. 21. Once a month, drop 70% ethanol on the lid and the sample well of the cuvette and wipe clean with the Kim wipes tissue. B. Now we demonstrate how to operate a full spectrum microplay spectrophotometer. 1. Remove the dust cover and turn on the machine. Wait for the microplate holder to extend out and start up to be completed. 2. Turn on the computer connecting to the spectrophotometer and start the control software. 3. Click on the settings menu, set up the wavelength, range of wells, stirring time before reading, volume calibration, and other relevant parameters. 4. Insert a microplate containing the samples. Do not touch the bottom of the microplate. The volume of liquid in each sample well must not exceed 3 fourths of the total volume of the well. The maximal sample volume per well for a 96 well plate is 200 microliter. To prevent the liquid sample from splashing out when the holder retracts, and from damaging the internal part of the spectrophotometer. If the liquid does splash out, clean up immediately. 5. Next, press read in control software. 6. The spectrophotometer takes in the microplate automatically and stirs it a few times before measuring. The computer screen displays the result after the measured values stabilize. 7. Record the results by taking pictures with a cell phone or export the data from the computer for analysis. 8. The machine pushes the microplate out after measurement. Be sure to take the microplate away and press the drawer key on the panel to draw the microplate holder back into the machine. 9. Repeatedly turning on and off could damage the spectrophotometer. Do not shut down the software and machine until the end of the day or holiday. Put on the dust cover after turning off. That is the end of the demonstration of using spectrophotometers. Thank you for watching.